All right, 2019, where do I even begin? As I look forward to the beginning of a new year and a whole new decade, I wanted to take a moment to appreciate the past 365 days. So here are some of my favorite moments of 2019. I kicked off 2019 on a beach in the Seychelles on my honeymoon, which feels like five years ago. <laughs> then Josh and I celebrated with my family in St. Louis. Got a few workouts in. I tried taking an improv class. I failed. Didn't work. Well, I actually just didn't finish it. I would have failed probably if I kept going anyway. I was a correspondent on the Today Show. Started working with an executive coach and they teach me how to be a better leader. Had a crazy fashion month starting off in Paris at the Dior show. Then sat next to David Beckham at the Adidas show. We lost a lot of greats. Caught up with a few old friends and met some new ones. Got some sun for a Vogue Paris shoot in Miami. Went running a lot. I think I'm actually officially a runner now. I drank a lot of coffee and wine and celery juice and skin tea, which side note has caffeine in it. And I did not realize that. Mm. Walked off white in Paris and Marc Jacobs made an ad council PSA with a few of my Code with Glossy friends. I celebrated Valentine's Day with some of my favorite ladies was very casually in a Super Bowl commercial. That was on my bucket list forever. Packed my suitcase a thousand times. Well, actually Nicolette definitely helped a lot. Was serenaded on the subway. Love that New York magic. Took to the streets of New York to announce that the Code of Glossy applications were open. Got a little help from my friends. Spent a couple of late nights with Jimmy Fallon. Watched my first season of Project Runway premiere on TV. Holy shit. And got to go to St. Louis for my second season premiere. Spilled gooey butter cake on live TV with Andy Cohen. Celebrated my sister's birthdays. Was on a gigantic billboard in Times Square. It was surreal. Drove through the streets of Paris with Emma Chamberlain. Got an internship at Estee Lauder. Got promoted and then relocated. We watched lots of Rick and Morty. Watched some Clawfus sunsets. Made the team at Clossy a little bit bigger. Built a studio in the Clawfus. Ta-da! Outgrew the Clawfus. Trained for the Berlin Half Marathon. Ran it two weeks later and totally killed it. Or at least survived it. Launched global campaigns with Estee Lauder and a Louis Vuitton luggage campaign with my bestie Chris Wu and a fragrance by Carolina Herrera and Express and a few more. Visited home, visited home a lot actually. Brought some friends home with me. Took a day trip to Detroit to check out the StockX headquarters. Then jumped in a ball pit with Little Miss Flint. Invested in companies that I believe are better for you and better for the planet. Did the thing that I get the most nervous about. A lot. I got braces in New York. I have braces. Flew to LA and then panicked because they were really painful and I had them take it off the next day. Collabed with a few friends. Comment below if you think we should do more this year. Celebrated a lot of special events. My little sister Carrie Ann graduated from college and moved to New York City. My other little sister Kimby got a job and moved to LA. My one year anniversary to the love of my life. Five whole years of Code with Classy. Holy shit. Plenty of office birthdays. Sebastian Gray was named the winner of Project Runway. Rode a camel in Morocco. Drove an ATV in Morocco. Spent a lot of time on airplanes. Got a little too creative with my time on airplanes. Learned to cook at least a little bit. Spent more time in the glam chair than I care to admit to. Took a trip to Harlem to see Dapper Dan and Gucci design my Met dress. Ripped my Met dress and of course had to be sewn into it. It's like a tradition now at this point. Katie turned my husband into a hamburger. Did some science experiments at the Today Show. Took a stand to support reproductive rights. Completed training to be a Planned Parenthood escort. Spoke to Stanford Business School students and fashion students at FIT. And to thousands of people in Orlando and at Instagram with Eva Chen and at Tech in DC and probably so much more but I'm forgetting launched code with classy 2019 launched code with classy March for the first time ever if you haven't already gotten one get one right now at this link below ran for the oceans with Adidas read some amazing books written by my friends galloped through the beautiful prairies of Wyoming kind of had a second wedding but it was pretty much just a party. Chatted with almost every single Code with Classy Scholar this year. Watched Code with Classy Scholars present their final apps and websites in Chicago. 
had a solo cover of British Vogue and talked to my friend Elaine Weltroth about things that I don't always open up about. And I met so many of you. Kicked some ass with the Clawfist during morning workouts. Saw some amazing concerts. Ariana Grande to JLo and Gwen Stefani. <laughs> my Project Runway friends and I recreated an iconic music video that you're just gonna have to wait till January to see. Jumped into my 27th year. Ate a donut with my face on it. Wrapped filming Project Runway and took a summer vacation. Spent 24 hours at Burning Man. Returned to one of my favorite cities, Shanghai. Cheered for Team USA in Shanghai. Played basketball with Victor Oladipo. Watched a bunch of basketball games with a few of my friends. Finally got accepted into the Fantasy Football League I've been waiting for years to be a part of. What am I doing now at 2 in the morning? Fantasy football. Yeah. I didn't win but next year is gonna be my year. Kicked off September Fashion Week with Carolina Herrera, then celebrated the launch of YouTube Fashion, then flew to the Apple Summit where I got my brand spanking new iPhone, which I've dropped 6,000 times and it still works. And I've taken about 60 gajillion photos with my three lenses. Launched a global campaign for Rebellious Rose by Estee Lauder with a little help from my friends at Code With Classy. Flew to Paris for Fashion Week, cut my hair, twice, was on the cover of Entrepreneur Magazine and talked a little bit more about the business side of things. Flew to Madrid with Carolina Herrera and saw my face made of like a bajillion dominoes. Got a little spooky this Halloween. Leaked my cell phone number, so text me. I finally shared my Uncle Mike's famous toffee recipe with the world. Was completely offline and off my phone for 1,248 hours this year. Took you on a tour of my favorite French pharmacy, but actually never released the footage. So maybe that should have to be a 2020 video. Celebrated the holidays with the Clawfists. And last but not least, posted 40 YouTube videos. And we told you we were gonna do more this year, so we held our end of the bargain. That leads me to you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing and for commenting and for texting me and just spending so much time this year with me. It's been a crazy year and I couldn't have done it without you and without the support of everyone here at Team Classy. So thank you for an amazing year, an amazing decade and looking forward to the next decade and year ahead together. So thank you and if you're not subscribing, now's your chance. Uh, we've got a lot more in store this year. So. See you in 2020.